Hi there, Winnie here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Mal from Descendants 2. So let's get started. With Mal, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So right here, I'm going to start to draw kind of like at the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come about right here. That's down and go all the way across. And draw the same thing. Then we're going to bring it around. Nice curve, round curve. And connect it. So there, it's kind of like the bottom of a U. And then from there, I'm going to break this up right here and draw her bangs. I'm going to come out a little bit right here. And I'm just going to go across with this line, but I don't want it too straight. So here and there, just kind of wobble it a little bit. So we draw her bangs. And then from there, we're going to come up, go all the way up because she has very thick, solid bangs, but we don't want it too straight. This way, it just gives it a little bit more life for her bangs. So then come to the center of your face right here, about the center, go all the way to the top, uh, about right here. So imagine her bangs, another layer of her hair, and we're going to draw a little curve. And from there, we're going to come up a little bit. And so that's where her hair parts, right in the center. And we're going to uh, sweep the curve down. So same thing on this side. And then from there, let's finish off her bangs. So we're just going to bring this curve a little bit more up towards the center, now that we know where our center is. And same thing on this side. Okay. So then from there, we can draw some details. Just come towards right here where everything will be parting. And you can draw some detail lines to so come in here. Just break up the bangs a little bit here and there. You can just draw a little curve that everything comes back to here. Okay, so there we got her bangs in. And then from there, let's just bring this down a little bit more. And same thing on this side. Okay, so now we can bring a Mal to life. <laughs> well, before we do that, let's draw this one strand right here. So we're gonna come right here because her hair is pretty straight. We're gonna break up her face right here with this one strand and bring it down. So same thing on this side and bring it down. Okay, so then now let's bring her to life. So right here on the towards the edge and towards the bangs, I'm gonna draw a nice size circle for her eyes. All the way towards the edge. So same thing on this side. Okay, so then we got the circles in now to make them draw so cute eyes. So two uh, circles for highlights, and a curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. Thank you for all the requests for uh, Mel from Descendants 2. Please make sure to check out um, my Descendants 1 Mel drawing with Evie and the rest of the gang. So it's nice that they changed their look for Descendants 2. <laughs> and I also drew Uma recently from Descendants 2. So please check that all out. Descendants um, playlist. Curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So if you look at this Mal compared to my old Mal that I drew a long while back, it's very different. <laughs> My style has changed a bit and I'm still learning and still progressing as I keep drawing. So right here I'm going to um, draw a curve for the lashes. I'm just going to put two. Make it nice and simple. So same thing over here. Curve and another curve. 
Okay, so then right in the center right here, I'm just gonna give her a very cute little sweet smile and cap it off. Okay, so then now to draw her body. So I'm gonna come here and give her a tiny little neck right here in the center. So it's right there, a little curve. And we're gonna bring it out for her shoulder. So same thing right here. And I'm gonna bring it down. So about right there. And bring it down. And then I'm gonna imagine about her armpits are gonna be about right here. So I'm gonna come here and draw this angle line for the beginning of her body. And then from there, let's um, draw this collar that she has first. I'm gonna come here and draw this curve. And then right here, an angle line and connect it for the other side. Okay, so then from there, let's finish off her body first. So she has this really extravagant outfit. So I'm gonna come about right here for her top and I'm gonna come to the center and draw a straight line. Then I'm going to connect it, kind of like drawing a vest. So same thing here and up. And then we can add this angle line right here to this line. So she has a lot of details and I'm trying to um, not overdo this uh, with all the details. I'm just trying to draw all the main ones that are kind of necessary. So she has that one flap that kind of goes over and then there should be another angle line that connects to this right here. So I'm just gonna draw that one too. Okay. And then from there, let's um, Continue her bodice right here. So come down for her waist area. And so she has this detail right here where it's kind of raggedy cloth that kind of hangs from here. So I'm just gonna come in here and randomly just draw little angles like that, zigzags that go up and down. And right here, let's connect it with a curve. She has this belt part on her um, midsection and let's keep going down. Okay so we're gonna stop there and let's draw her arms now. So we're gonna come back up right here draw this little curved line angle line that comes right there for her jacket and bring her arms down. So for one arm I'm having it just to her side so nice and simple just bring it down and about right there. We're gonna connect it for a sleeve. And let's do the same thing on this side. So in the same spot. This drawing is so complicated. We decided just to put her arms to her side and make it a little bit more simpler. <laughs> okay, so then this side, um, I guess we can give her a little bit more angle on here for her sleeve. Okay, so then from there, let's draw this one hand because it kind of goes over her pants a little bit. So I'm gonna come here and draw a thumb and then her fingers and bring it in. And you can draw some details, like two small little lines right there. So then on this side, it's um, right here, thumb. And same thing. Okay, so then now we can finish off her pants. So I'm going to say come about lower about right here and draw an angle line and the two lines and the angle that comes to start her um, her legs. So before I finish that, I'm going to come in here and draw this belt thing that she has going on. So. So one of the main details in her outfit. So there's this little buckle and some circles inside to make it look like a belt. <laughs> it's so complicated. Okay, so then we can um, add some more strands here. 
and little strands there. She has these um, things wrapped around in her midsection right there. Okay, so then from there, let's finish off her legs. I'm gonna come, keep coming down more, and about right here, her hip, and keep going. So I'm gonna come all the way down, so tapering as I go. Bring it all the way down for her long legs. So about right there, I'm going to cut it off and connect it. And then for her boots, I'm gonna bring it out. Bring it out right here. Curve it and come out. So she has these crazy heels on these boots. So I'm gonna bring this down, come in right here, and I'm going to connect it and bring it up. So that's an easy way to make a simple heel right there. And I'm just gonna come in here, and draw a curved line for some detail on the front of the boot. Okay, so that's the same thing right here. Come down, all the way down, bring it in, and then angle this in a little bit, come out. And once again, bring it all the way in and then up. And then come in here for the front to give it some, some thickness for the boot. Okay, so I'm gonna leave her boots kind of plain because there's just way too many details. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And let's come back up here and um, finish off her hair. So I'm just gonna bring it down. There's just too many details on her boots, so it's better to just leave it plain, I think. Just make it black. <laughs> and it can zigzags a little bit towards the bottom. And same thing over here. And bring it down. So then you can come back in here and add many details as you want. Some strands. And right here, you can draw some parting lines for the center where her hair parts. Okay. So there. Now I'm going to come back in here with my um, a thinner Sharpie to draw all the little details that are in her outfit. So I'm not going to go too overboard, but I'm just going to draw some of the main things that she has here and there, some circles in there. Oh, and then she has this thing that comes out from the back, almost forgot, right here. So I'm gonna add that part right here. I think that's an important part in her outfit. And so then she, one thing right here, she has that green band right here. That's very important. So same thing on this side. And some more of those spike things. And let's see here. You can um, split off her sleeve right here. Add some more circles there. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot of details. <laughs> But hopefully this is enough. And okay, so then let's see here. For her pants, um, I'm gonna draw one strand right here. And another one. And this one breaks up, so. This is kind of like a mesh. So I'm just gonna come in here and draw some angles. And then she has this lines. And maybe break it off with another line. So then same, not exact same thing, but some of the similar details. 
So same thing right here, that mesh. And another line right there. So there, that's my Mel from Descendants 2. Hope you guys like how it turned out and it wasn't too hard to follow along. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.